Hello viewers, it's SuperGT here. Welcome to the video. So, you saw the title there, How to Respect Your Opponent. Now, believe it or not, respect does actually exist in Forza to some extent. I know most of the time you won't ever see it in the normal hoppers. You will just get bashed about. Um, and there is pretty much no respect in the normal hoppers. But every now and then you do come across a very heartwarming little story about some uh, respect actually being given out and I'm going to give you an example of that here so we are around the Sonoma circuit in the Lamborghini Trofeo League and it's going to be a very nice race here between a couple of quick guys up the front here so I'm in the black livery here I decided to go for a black livery uh, just to break the norm of everyone else's liveries that they've got uh, it kind of stands out in a weird way this black livery but anyway back to the race I'm in third position after starting in fifth and we co uh, we've kind of broken away here as a little bit of a group and so at this point you could already argue that I am respecting my opponents by not simply going into the back of them which seems to happen too much in um, in the normal hoppers I do find that people if they're right behind me I, I, I get so scared I just think they're going to go straight to the back of me and um, you know just smash me off but here, um, in, the, in this pinnacle league, you can trust a lot of the people to race right behind you without hitting you. And it is very comforting to know that um, there are people out there who can actually control their cars. So, look at this. We've done about a whole lap there with about 50 feet to spare between the three of us without touching. This guy just about slotting in back in front of me. And he's going to go a little bit... Um, a little bit too deep there. We make a slight bit of contact there, but that's to be expected. Nothing too major there. Now through into second, and again, he could have gone into the back of me there, but he's um, respecting my position and let me through into second. Sometimes it's the best thing to do not to fight and just uh, you know get on with each other. Because the more you fight, the more time you lose, and then you actually bring other people back into the race. So at this point here, we could keep it as a three-person race, work together break away from the rest of the pack or we could start battling uh, really badly and then everyone else will catch up and then we could all lose out so it's just a couple of questions you have to ask yourself is it worth battling what uh, is a very good idea in a lot of this racing is to um, is to keep in position until the very last lap so just stay behind if you're in second especially uh, obviously if you're at the back you might want to start uh, overtaking a lot earlier in the race if you're in second uh, look we're gonna go over the grass there um, and actually third place doesn't uh, lose ground on us so uh, we sort of I, I sort of followed him that um, that happens quite a lot on this track at that chicane I do admit that we did go over the grass there but we didn't actually gain on third place but um, yeah, what I was saying, if, if you're in second position, it can be worth just staying in second position until the very last lap and then going for a move. Uh, that way you're not uh, losing time by battling throughout the entire race. Now, I'm going to go a little bit too deep here, uh, but still uh, not losing too much ground. Third place is still right on my tail, but we are breaking away from fourth. Uh, first place is going to go a little bit too slidey through here. Now into turn number five, I believe. It's up the inside and... Without even making contact there, I'm going to leave him space on the outside to rejoin the circuit. And going into the uh, the inside uh, left hand, I'm going to do a little bit of a cutback on him here. Without making contact, look at this. I've respected his position on the outside of the circuit, given him room. And he's actually got the momentum on me there. I'm going to go for a cutback overtake into the hairpin up the inside. And don't break too late, so I don't go into him. And it's a very long hairpin here, and he's got the he's got the line on the outside there, so I, I, I have to let him go. I can't just cut across him because he was next to me. If I had got ahead, I could have gone across him to preserve the position, but he had, I think, the very front of his car was alongside, so I had to respect that he was there, and I can't just cut across him. So he maintains first position. That's very good racing, though. Um, I'd rather you know finish second in a well fought. A gentleman's battle rather than a, a finish first against some total moron. Actually, no, I, I get that wrong. Um, I would rather win against the total moron who would rather wipe me out, but I'd rather be in a race like this, much rather be in a race 
where the people are much more respectful. So we go on to lap four, uh, still in second. I did briefly have a glimpse of first place. I could have been a bit more forceful, but then again, it is just a game. You know, what's the point in ups trying to upset people uh, just to win a race? You know, you don't, there's no extra prizes really for winning other than maybe a, a few more credits but the credits are so easy to get in this game it's kind of pointless I'd rather f you might as well just finish second in a well fought battle so coming through the infield once again for the last time third place is actually kept very close to us um, decided not to go for any moves as, as of yet so I haven't really had to check back too many times I haven't had to defend at all in this race um, very much coming into the hairpin I'm nowhere near close enough this time round to go for a lunge into the hairpin it's a very long corner like a 270 degree corner this one then you've got this S's section very tricky uh, to overtake pretty much impossible to overtake through this section here all you've got to do is get a very good run through here to either uh, give you a gap so they can't get overtaken like guy in first has done or give yourself the run and the momentum to get into an overtaking position he does cut the corner slightly there but doesn't bother me that much it, it happens all the time. I go I go across that so many times. Um, perhaps they could bring back that sticky grass or whatever it is. Because I kind of like that. Uh, you make the mistake once and then you realise that if you go into that grass, you're going to get stuck. So you just learn about those mistakes. You stop, doing, you stop uh, breaking so late. But that is the second position. A very good race in the end, I thought. Um, I could have easily have just barged him out of the way and won that race if I wanted to. But what's the point? That was a very fun race. To finish second enjoyed that a lot and I'm sure the guy who won you now I'm sure he uh, enjoyed that as well a good battle on uh, lap number two and three there so we're gonna go to a quick bonus clip here have you ever wondered how to take the chicane at Daytona on the oval here's how you do it I go in seventh position on the way in already gained one already gained two on the exit everyone's all fighting across each other I gain all these positions look at this from seventh now into third and this guy's going to cut across, but I'm going to go through into second. I'm going to get the momentum of first place even. I go from seventh to first in about 20 seconds, or well, if that. And so that's one way of taking that chicane. You can gain so much time if you take that properly, that chicane. But that is going to be all for me. I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts on how to respect your opponent in Forza. So I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope you find it useful. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of the same. Hit that like button if you did like this video and I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.